for the potential severe storms in Arkansas tomorrow. A local pet rescue in Conway County just finished repairing $30,000 worth of damage from a storm six months ago. Our Alexis Wainwright saw the damage at KC Pet Rescue firsthand. Tonight she's joining us live from Plummerville with an update on this. Alexa, not something they want to see headed their way. Yeah, that's exactly right, Bob and Laura. The last time we were here at KC Pet Rescue, there were dog pens and kennels scattered all over this place after a storm moved through. But we've been watching and following their journey as they rebuild and get back up on their feet. Thanks to generous donations, this is what KC Pet Rescue in Plummerville looks like today. We've totally rebuilt. Everything looks good, and uh, we survived the little snap of winter. A far cry from September 1st, 2020, when an EF1 tornado came through Plummerville and changed things in a matter of minutes. If it wasn't for the people backing us and supporting us, I probably would have had to just give up because this was a, a big undertaking to try to rebuild. Um, it doesn't look like much, but it's still a lot of money. KC Pet Rescue was one of the hardest hit places. I looked up here and, and I, I just cried. I just I just couldn't believe this, you know, what I was seeing. Today, a much different scene. It's 100% better. Uh, sometimes you think about disaster not being a, a blessing, but in a way, this was a blessing in disguise. It allowed us to refocus what we needed to and rebuild all the pens that needed to be done the correct way. Arkansas has unpredictable weather. Talk about what you're doing now to try to keep these kennels safe and protected. Well, first off, we tried, as you can see, the tarps are still up and stuff. It it hurt us bad because we don't have a building out here. We don't have a way to shelter them the way we want to. So all the puppies that were in the puppy pens went to foster care. Uh, I did have some kennels at my house. I was able to take some there. And Ree Miller says that she's blessed to be able to turn things around here at the pet rescue. She also noted that as far as dog adoptions, since March, she's been able to have 396 dogs adopted. She also hopes to raise money and hopefully have a roof over all these dogs' heads as soon as possible. Reporting live in Conway County, Alexis Wainwright, back to you. Alexis.